the applicant before you is a torture victim. The owner, uh, by the grace of God, is healing, but it would uh, be in the best interest of his health, but his recapitulation and independent and access to independent and choice medication is done when he has the liberty to do so and not not in not in jail. Mr. Kofens, are you on? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, thank you very much. But your lawyers have been further saying the ruling will be because your lawyer said a lot of things that I have to go through them will be delivered on Tuesday at 9, which is not very far from here. <laughs> Uh, we know that Kakwenza has no capacity, no the desire to interfere with witnesses because this is a matter of tweets and offensive communication. It's an electronic crime. There's no way he can interfere with it. In any event, he, the, the state confiscated his uh, computers, his phones and his other property. So they are in charge of the electronic gadgets, the hardware at least. All Ugandans must condemn the torture of people. If someone is arrested, if they have committed any offense, there are laws in place to try them. But if you torture someone, you have already inflicted punishment on him or her. So what is the point in bringing them to court? Because when you're torturing them, you're punishing them.